All right, we are still now in the survey, uh, La Mer à la Pâte, putting the hand in the dock. And we are studying the book of First King. And we are now in the chapter 7. I will begin to read by, by beginning by the first verse. All right. But Solomon was building his own house 13 years, and he finished all his house. He built also the house of the forest of Lebanon. The land thereof was 100 and hundred cubits, and the breadth thereof fifty cubits, and the height thereof of thereof thirty cubits, upon four rows of cedar pillars, with cedar beams beams upon the pillars, and it covered with cedar above upon the beams that lay on forty five pillars, fifteen in a row, and there were windows in three rows, and light was against light in three ranks. Now all the doors and posts were square with the windows, and light was again light in three ranks. And he made a porch of pillar, the length thereof of 50 cubits, and the breadth thereof 30 cubits, and the porch was before them, and the outer pillars, and the fixed beam were before them. And he made a porch for the throne where he might judge, even the porch of judgment, and he covered with cedar from one side of the floor to the other. And his house where he dwelt had another court within the porch, which was of like, which was of the like walk. Solomon made also a house for Pharaoh's daughter, whom he had taken to wife, like unto his porch. And all these were of costly stones, according to the measures of the of his stones, sowed with souls within and without, even from the foundation unto the cupping, and so on the outside toward the great court. court. And the foundation was of courtly, costly stones, even great stones, stones of ten cubits and stone of eight cubits, and above were costly stones after the measure of huge stones and cedars. And the great court round about was with three rows of huge stones, and a row of cedar beams, both of the inner court of the house of the Lord, and for the porch of the house. And King Solomon sent and fetched Aram of, out of Tyre. He was a window, window, sorry, widow, sons of the tribe of Nephtali, and his father was a man of Tyre, a worker in brass, and he was filled with wisdom and understanding and cunning to walk all walks in brass. And he came to King Solomon and wrote all his work. For he cast two pillars of brass of eighteen cubits each high, of eighteen cubits high a piece, and a line of twelve cubits did compass eight of them about. And he made two chapters of molten brass to set upon the tops of the pillars, the eight, the height of one of the one chapter was five cubits, and the height of the other chapter was five cubits, and nets of shakers walk, and reef of chain walks for the chapters which were upon the top of the pillars, seven for the one chapters, and seven for the other chapters. And he made the pillars and two rows round about upon the one network to cover the chapters that were upon the top with pomegranates, and so did he for the other chapter. And the chapter that were upon the top of the pillars were of lily walk in the porch for cubits. And in the chapters upon the two pillars had pomegranates also above, over against the belly which was by the network, and the pomegranates were two hundred in row run about upon the, the other chapter. And he set upon the pillar in the porch of the temple, and he set upon and he set up the right pillar and called the name thereof Chashin. Chashin. And he set up the left pillar and called the name thereof Boaz. And upon the top of the pillars was, was lily walk, so was the walk of the pillars finished. And he made a molten sea ten cubits from the one brim to the other. It was round all about. And his head was five cubits, and a line of thirty cubits did compass, did compass it round about. And under the brim of it round about there were knocks compass, compassing it, ten in a cubit, compassing the sea round about. The knocks were cast in two rows, 
when it was cast. It stood up upon 12 oxen, three looking toward the north, and three looking toward the west, and three looking toward the south, and three looking toward the east, and the sea was set above upon them, and all their inner paths were inward. It was an hand breath thick, and the brim thereof was rock like the brim of a cup, with flowers of lilies, and it, it contained two thousand baths. He made ten brasses of brass, he made ten bases of brass, four cubits was the length of one base, and four cubits the breadth thereof, and three cubits the height of it, the height of it. And the work of the bases was on this manner. They had borders, and the borders were between the ledges, and on the borders that were between the ledges were lions, oxen, and cherubims, and upon the ledges there was a bave base above. Beneath the lions and oxen were certain additions made of thin work. And every base had four brazen wheels and plates of brass, and the four corners thereof had under setters, under the lavers, lavers were under setters molten at the side of every addition. At the mouth, at the mouth of it within the chapter and above was a cubit, the mouth thereof was round about after the, after the walk of the base, a cubit and a half, and also upon the mouth of it were gravings with their borders four square, four square not round. And under the borders were four wheels, and the axe axe trees of the wheels were joined to the base, and the height of a wheel was a cubit and a half a cubit. And the walk of the wheels was like the walk of a chariot wheel. Their axle trees and their knaves and their fellows and their spokes were all molten. And there was four undersetters to the four corners of one base, and the undersetters were of the very base itself. And the top of the base was three, was there a round compass of half a cubit high, and on the top of the base, the ledges thereof and the borders thereof were of the same. For on the place of the ledges thereof and of and on the borders thereof, he graves cherubims, lions, and palm trees according to the proportion of every one, and addition run, additions run about. After this manner, he made the ten bases. All of them had one casting, one measure, and one size. Then made he lavers of praise. One lever contained forty baths, and every lever was four cubits, and upon every one of the uh, of the ten bases one lavers. And he put five bases on the right side of the house, and five on the left side of the house, and he set the sea on the right side of the house, its walls, its wall, its wall over against the south. And Aram, the lavers, and the shovels, and the basins. So Aram made an end of doing all the work that, the, that he made King Solomon for the house of the Lord. The two pillars and the two bowls of the chapter that were on the top of the two pillars and the two networks to cover the two bowls of the chapter which were upon the top of the pillars. And 400 palm grades for the two Networks, even two rows of pomegranates for one network to cover the one ball to cover, sorry, to cover the two balls of the chapters that were upon the pillars. And the ten bases and ten levers have been on the bases and one sea and twelve oxen under the sea and the pots and the shovels and the balsons, basins and all these balsas which Aram made to King Solomon for the house of the Lord were of bright braces. In the plain of Jordan did the king cast them in the clay ground between Succoth and Sertan. And Solomon left all the vessels un unweighed because they were exceeding many, neither was the weight of the brass found out. And Solomon made all the vessels that pertained unto the house of the Lord, the altar of gold and the Table of gold, whereupon the shoe bread was, 
and the contrasting of pure goals, five on the right side and five on the left before the, the oracle with the flowers and the lamps and the tongue of goals. <coughs> and the bowls and the snuffers and the basins and the spoon and the censers of pure, pure gold and the hinge of gold both for the doors of the inner house, the most holy place and for the doors of the house to wit of the temple. So was ended all the work that King Solomon made for the house of the Lord. And Solomon brought in the thing which David his father had dedicated even silver and the gold and the vessel did he put among the treasure of the house of the Lord? Sorry for the few mistake when reading, but that was a good example. That was a good example because so you 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 can see that uh, uh, you have to read the Bible. You have to read the Bible, so uh, it trains you to read the Bible and not to wait only on a beautiful audio to play this to play with the to read the chapter with a beautiful and nice song in the background but to open your mouth and to take the time to read uh, the word of your own and this will help you to get the word of god uh, deep in you so uh, i think that the mistake were a good thing yes so it helped you to get your mind focused on what is said in this chapter. So we are in chapter 7 and we said that uh, from chapter, uh, we are in the first section of the book of First King and that uh, from uh, chapter 1 to chapter 11, we will be talking about the reign of Solomon and uh, especially in this section uh, from uh, uh, beginning at the chapter 5. We were talking about the building of the temple of the Lord. And in chapter 5, we saw how he made an association with Aram. In uh, chapter 6, we saw how he built the house of the Lord. In chapter 7, here we are seeing how he's building uh, the many houses, uh, how they are, they are uh, doing, uh, how uh, Solomon is building his house also. And uh, how uh, Aram will finish also some things that was needed to the house of the Lord. So, so there's a lot of uh, construction in this um, in this chapter. And uh, what I want to focus and uh, give a little nugget of this chapter. It is um, chap at the verse 51. So it was ended all the war that King Solomon made for the house of the Lord. And Solomon brought in the things which David, his father, had dedicated even the silver and the gold and the vessel that he put among the, the treasure of the house of the Lord. What you have to know it is that he, uh, we did not read it, eh, but it was in the book that was uh, before First King. The whole idea to build this great temple, this magnificent temple, came from David. Uh, but uh, he was not allowed to, to build his house and the God said that his son will build it. But we can see that David prepared all that was needed to build this house. So it's really important for us also to be people that are prepared, that prepare all the things that we want to do in our life. If you want to succeed in something, it's good to think first what you have to do to reach your success, to reach what you want to achieve and uh, when you 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 know precisely what you want so you can prepare to achieve later what you want to have and not to be at the last last moment last last second to say oh i am not ready but you have to be prepared and just like uh, there's a saying and that say that um, chance is when uh, preparations preparation meet opportunity and that is chance but many times you will think that people will have chance but it's only that they were prepared and that's why when the opportunity was here they was able to do the job so it's it's good for us when you are thinking about all this construction all the temple that it was something that was prepared by david and it it delivered all these things to his son to do the job to do the building so let us also when we want to do to achieve something in our life, our goals, to prepare, to 
take the time and so the success will be guaranteed okay that's what's it for first king chapter 7